Hello everyone, welcome to Review Time. I'm your host Isip, and today I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Combiner Wars Huffer Legends Class. Whoop the F and do. Now, anyone who's seen my um, Transformers Legends Cyberverse, whatever, Optimus Prime that would use the same mold here knows that I don't really particularly care for this mold. As a matter of fact, I hate it. Um, I hated it so much I actually gave the Optimus to my nephews because I just really disliked it. Not enough to destroy it, but almost. And it's kind of the same thing with this guy, but because of the Combiner Wars gimmick, I'm compelled to keep him. <sighs> you got these shoulder things that move why? Why do they move? They You can put them up like this and yay look he's got scoopy shoulders. That's looks stupid. That looks stupid too. This opening chest thing looks stupid. That looks a little bit better. And uh, whoops. Here we've got a Huffer that it's got decent posability. Um, if you want to get the arms to move out you have to go like that and there we go. Stupid. Um, that moves. The waist does not move. It moves. Well, up. It moves. Well, it, the thorax. Move, I don't know. That part up there moves. Bends at the leg, knee, wall joint. Blah blah blah. Feet don't move, and that is part of the problem with this mold. Aside from everything else, I don't like about it. Ah, stay. Thank you. So there he is. It's Optimus with an, a Huffer head. Here is Igear's Huffer. Frankly, I think this is much better. I wish he had big, uh, big fist holes like this, so then I could combine him with the Combiner Wars and get rid of this piece of crap. But unfortunately, I can't. I do think I can take this gun though and put it in the Igear Huffer hand. Oops, I'm curious. Let's see. Yep, and I have no idea where his gun went, so hey, he might have a new gun. Anyway, so, there's a size comparison, there's a look comparison. Frankly, I think this guy right here is a much better huffer than this guy over here, but hey, to each their own. So, transformation sucks. First thing we're going to do is split open his chest again so we can get his head down, which, oh, forgot to, to show that, ow, freaking almost broke my nail off my finger. You know, I think, oh, he's such a girl. Yeah, you know what? You rip your, your thumbnail off and you tell me how you feel. But look at that. Look how big his freaking head is. And I guess you could technically saw that down, but still, that's ridiculous. So anyway, close that up. And, uh. Take this and rotate it all the way around. And before you plug that in, you want to take this part here, bend it like so, clip it together, you're done with the legs. Bring this to the back, swing this forward into its place, which is looks like it kind of grabs there. It's ridiculous. It's, I mean, it's an optimus transformation, to, to say the least, but uh, it looks like crap. So, that's that. And there you've got your truck mode from the front. It actually looks really good. That looks nice. That looks nice. That looks stupid beyond belief. And unlike, I know we had an Ultra Magnus that did the same thing, but it had uh, something that you could plug in to make to make this look like a, a tow truck. This just looks like you was lazy. You transformed this half, but this half you just, eh, well, just let nobody will notice. There are robot feet sticking out the back of the truck. And you can take the gun if you want to, and you can plug it in here. And yeah, that looks dumb. So we'll take that off. And uh, here we got the other Huffer, which, yeah, looks kind of funky but G1 Huffer look I think these are supposed to go out G1 Huffer transformed just like this so it looked like this and yeah it looks like a Huffer 
Okay, Grant, I'm going to I'm going to give the truck mode to this one here. Uh, even with this piece of crap at the back, but the only reason I got him was because it was the only way I could get blackjack for Combiner Wars Menasaur. So, there's only one left one thing left to do is see if we can combine them with a Combiner Wars figure. So for that, we're going to get Optimus Prime with the protector bots, which you can only see the feet of. Let's see if we can get this to. There we go. So we've got them. And yes, I've done the Dime Chalk Menasaur thing. I actually usually have, honestly, when I have them transformed, I usually have them transformed so that he's facing this way instead which I think looks much better for Optimus but for all intents and purposes of this video we're going to go ahead and leave them this way and we're going we're going to try to get this guy on there now um, there are a few ways I've seen people have him so that he's hanging like this straight down it, it's okay but that's not I don't know I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it my way. He's gaudy, he's orange, I don't like him. Every other figure that they've given us with the Combiner Wars can somehow combine, turn into a weapon or become a chess piece. Uh let's see, Combiner Wars Yeah, every other one I I can get into um I can even get the the the, the ones that aren't supposed to be chess pieces into chess pieces. This one looks ridiculous. This is horrible. And then the other way to do it is to basically turn it like this and and have it so that you've got a truck with legs dangling down. Now, that's garbage. That's garbage. So, why he's a part of the Combiner Wars series, I do, do not know. So, I do not have nice things to say about this figure. I'd say, unless you happen to be a completionist, hey Xavier, how you doing? Um, I'd say, uh, just forget this, this figure, it's horrible. It's, it sucks. It's, uh, the Optimus Prime figure sucked, this one sucks. It, if the shoulders were different, if the feet were different, then it wouldn't suck so bad. Then it would be decent. I, I'd, I'd go with decent, I'd be nice and say decent. I'd enjoy it more, but it, it, oh, what am I doing? But it doesn't, it just sucks. It really, it really does. You know what I'm doing right now? Get ready to put them away. Compact them and put them in a box. And probably never take them back out again. Probably not. I mean, I like the orange color for a hover. I'm not going to lie, that looks pretty cool. Um, the semi mode in the front of it looks pretty cool. Okay, got to put the legs back down. Looks pretty cool. But... The feet sticking out the back here, that just kills the whole thing. The feet and then this big open, it just kills it. And there's no reason for that because we know that you can make make decent tr truck and vehicle modes out of these size figures because you've done it with most of the other Combiner Wars figures. So, yeah, what the hell, Hasbro, what the hell? And why re release this one? Anyway, I slip. That's it. Bye-bye.